move the car back a little bit, just throw it in neutral. There we go. These, this is for David. All right. I'll see you in a couple hours, old girl. What is good, everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today, I am at Function Automotive. Like I said, I'm having them go ahead and change out my sway bars, or at least they're gonna do their best to. That freaking stupid bolt behind the EVAP box is honestly a bitch and a half, but the boys over here are gonna do their best for it. And while I'm here, I figured I'd show you guys a couple of cool builds they got going on here. All I know is it's a 180SX that's straight from Japan. This thing is gorgeous. As gorgeous as a 30 year old car could be. There's a couple other things here too that I'll show you. Besides my beautiful little baby. Bye. You got an S14 hiding in the wind over here. This one is USDM and is a project. <laughs> All of these cars look like they are kind of abandoned projects. These are two preludes. But for those of you guys who aren't aware, Function Automotive is a aftermarket repair shop. They do pretty much, as you guys can see, custom builds. They'll do regular maintenance stuff. They'll do your oil changes. Um, they'll do pretty much anything that you ask them to do as long as it's in their ability to do. They'll do engine swaps, everything. Um, we got So we got a couple of Zs here. I don't know much about any of these at all. This R32, I do know a little bit about those. So last year when I came, this was here and they were redoing all the seals on the engine and they had put it out, the guy drove it for a little bit and now it's back again to have his engine seals redone yet again. But dude, this is awesome. That is a good thumbnail right there. And perfect. And we got a 300ZX with a huge front mount intercooler and literally the exact same blow off valve that I have right now. Look at that. Um, most of you guys don't really think I'm taking care of the car that well. Like I'm just kind of letting it die and I'm neglecting it super hard. And I do apologize, I have neglected it a little bit in the past year. I haven't been doing everything I should be doing. But also, I've been dealing with a lot of other things as well that kind of just, every time I try to go work on the car, hinder me from doing it. No excuse, just an explanation. And um, as far as like the channel goes, like with the views and also like with, with making better content for you guys, I am trying, I really am. Um, but just remember, I'm 22, I don't have a great paying job. So sometimes I, I don't have the best, the, the best video quality stuff. I'm literally recording on my phone and a selfie stick right now. I'm in the process of getting a laptop, I'm in the process of getting a camera and all of that good stuff so that everything can be, <gasps> hold on, pause. The impress is moving. I didn't show you guys that one, but that thing is hot. Hold on, no low pull. That's hot. The point I'm trying to make is um, I'm trying to get better for you guys and I appreciate the feedback that you guys do give. I would love if you guys would comment some more and um, I realize that the retention time for you guys isn't that good either. I know my videos aren't the most entertaining so it's hard for you guys to stay and I will try to make them more entertaining for you guys. Oh. With that being said, this video today is more of kind of like a like a vloggy vlog. Not a lot of crazy car stuff going on. They're doing the sway bars for me so I'm not going to be recording that. I don't want to go in the shop and just have the camera in everyone's face. So, you're gonna get more of a personal, just vloggy vlog today. So I hope you guys enjoy. And um, next video should be, I, I don't know, maybe we'll do fuel lines and stuff. I ordered my fuel pump yesterday, so it should be here next week. Same with the fuel lines and rails. So we are trying to get everything situated. It just took me a bit of time to get out of my little, my, my little, you know, slump that I was in. So I appreciate you guys that did stay and like watch the videos flowing through and commented and were being like supportive and giving me feedback and stuff. And uh, I will do better for you guys. Stop the Dunkin' real quick just to grab some food because your boy is hungry as heck. I didn't keep breakfast this morning. I kind of just got up and started doing stuff. I'm always on go mode, so. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, guys. Don't skip it. There he is. Real quick, before I even walk away, I just want to show you all this mini. This is fully decked out for racing, dude. That thing is awesome. David! See, dude, I told you it was worth coming. I told you. Literally, the next car I get is definitely gonna be a Z, and I want it to look as pretty as this one. I, I really, really do. It's like we're in a little JDM heaven. All right, so I'm sorry. I didn't really record what we were doing. We were kind of just chilling for most of the time, but we're back in the car now, and honestly, already, it feels a lot more like gutty in the front. So let me explain. They did the front, but not the rear. Crazy, crazy, just because I do want to like take care of the rear. 
nice and what I observe it for myself. What does it peak at? Like, how much PSI does it actually hit? It changes every single time. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? This is a dead end. Well, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not doing no boost over here. <laughs> Whoops. That threw me off. Oh, that's my old sway bar back there. The front one, right there. <laughs> Got you guys right here. Jesus Christ, getting that, every, the whole front feels a lot stiffer now, so it's like, getting it into gear, it's not as, it's like, there's not a lot of slop. So like, I can actually feel a difference. Did you hear that? It sounded cool, like anti-lag, but it's not anti-lag. That's exactly what it sounds like, right? It does. And I was like, nice. I was like, damn, this man, about to get me. But what, how much uh, boost did you hit? Ten. Ten, and it does it? Yeah. I mean, it could be because of, uh, yeah, probably because of that EVAP, all right. Are you in the low weight skate or high weight skate? Normal. Normal, oh shit. Normal weight skate. I had it on, I had it on high before. I was like, oh, I'm leaning out. So then I put it on low. And I was like, I'm still leaning out. What the heck? So I put it back on normal and was like, all right, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it a day. Now I have misfires. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta get you on a bass tune. I, yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna do the, do the fuel lines and everything, and then when I get that bass tune, everything honestly should be okay. I'm gonna throw a VF48 in because full send or no send. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, I'm at 199, 283 for miles. Yeah. So, it's either a refresh or a rebuild is due. Um, but I honestly think that the car as it sits right now will be okay if I take care of those problems. Like, it'll, it'll be okay for me to ride around with it on, like, on, on a base tune with that stuff in it, and it won't blow up. Knock on air because it burns. I felt, that felt really, really good. Wait. My clutch feels like a fucking baby compared to yours now, though. It's like yours is stage two, and it feels like, oh. We're going to do a review on your car one of these days. We have to. I, I just got to finish up a few things. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Brown Avenue.
kudos to him, man. He's gonna have some crazy quad muscles. I know this is kind of a relatively short video, but I wanted to just kind of get some of those.